रेडी है गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी हैव टू रीड द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एड्स एंड द टाइटल इज somebody mother this is the poetry written by mary dog green and we first of all we have to know something about the poet 1816 1930 poet author lyricist published many poems and children's books very well known poet and written it means uh, he writes lyrics and published many poems and the title of the poem is somebody mother you know whenever you hear about the mother that affection comes towards you mother means full of affection and there is no one who can care more than mothers but the poet is not talking about he just her mother he talks about somebody's mother it means by the help of the title we can understand that poet is convincing all of us that we should not care only our mother but we should care all the mothers of the world because they are very caring they are the great caretaker and some hard words from this poem first one glance glance means to look quickly to look quickly it means so you will have to take one side of something only one time that is glance next one anxious anxious means uneasiness somebody not feeling easy that is anxious next one content satisfied contented means satisfied if you have got satisfaction that will be contented then you knew about the title of the poem somebody mother written by mary dobre and the poet has been author lyricist and published many poems and children's books and in the present poem we have to read about a mother who is doing care about who is doing care with another person even her children are that not at home they are far away even then somebody is helping it gives a very meaningful thing that we should be very careful we should be kind towards others mother also everybody has their own son daughter mother but the person who is helping others are great hero so that's why we should not forget about the others convenience the question is do you reach out to help old and elderly people on the road even if they are unknown to you just i want to ask you all somebody who is crossing the road aged person who is unable to walk and somehow you got a chance to help such a person have you helped from them even you don't know about that person you don't know about that lady have you helped somebody sometime if yes you will have to comment me so without thinking anything we should help the needy person humanity is the best thing 
there is nothing we are worshiping the god every day we are reciting much more names of the gods that's not effective we have to be a great human to help the humanity and this is the greatness of the people if you are a human being obviously you should care the human beings so let's start the poetry i want to explain the poem line by line and if you have your books you will consult that and try to understand the lines of the poetry and the first line of the poetry is the woman was old red and gray and went with the chill of the winter's day the poet tells a woman who was very ugly she didn't wear a nice dress her dress was tall and she was very old aged and went with the chill of the winter's day it was winter season and she was shivering with the cold and the poet saw that lady the street was wet with the recent snow and the woman's feet were aged and slow in the next lines poet mentions here that the street was wet and recent snow the street was totally full of water because recently snowed that day so that's why it was snowy street and the lady was sibri she was alone and her feet was very aged very lean and thin her feet was very big in that way you can understand the plight of the woman it means if you see any aged person they are not even to care themselves then how they can care the others so if you are a human being obviously you should see the humanity you should show the humanity toward those people who are deprived who are handicapped she stood at the crossing and waited long alone and cared for amid the throng she was standing and she wanted to cross the road she was alone uncared nobody was there to care her and the poet saw her. of human beings and who passed by her not heeded the glance of her anxious eye she was anxious that somebody should help her but nobody went to help her everybody watched unmindfully they were crossing the road but the lady was wanted a helping hand in that way nobody cared but the poet saw the lady and he got pity he became kind and wanted to help that lady don the street with the laughter and shout glad in the freedom of school let out in that way that way this is the children poetry and every children were going to school and they were clad very nicely they were in nice dress they were talking they were laughing because it was the morning and everybody watch to reach their school but nobody cared that clean and thin and deprived lady she wanted helping hand but nobody gave helping hand in that way when the boy saw he got pity and he wanted to help the lady came the boy like a flock of sheep held in the snow piled white and deep came the boy like a flock of sheep it means a number of boys came there held in the snow piled white and deep and there were piled piles of snow there everybody was enjoying that but nobody was caring the lady but the woman so old and gray has taken the children on their way 
in that way everybody was in a hurry they were crossing the way the lady was standing there but no one cared and not offered a helping hand to her so meek so timid appeared to steer she was very meek she was timid she was afraid to cross the road and she wanted the help of others but no one went there to help her in that way lest the carriage wheels of the horses feet and should crowd her down in the slippery street there were the carriage there were the vehicles there were vans or the horses feet should crowd her down in the slippery feet and there was the area that was slippery area and the lady was trembling if she wanted to take one step she would fall down so that's why she was not stepping or side she was not stepping forward she was standing there at last came one of the merry troop and their guest lady of all the group merry troop means there was a troop of lady they were very happy and they were enjoying the snowy day he paused beside her and whispered low i'll help you cross if you wish to go and a boy who came there and called the lady and he pleaded that if you want to cross the road i would like to help you her head hand on his strong young arm she placed and so without hurt or harm she the lady who was standing there gave her hand and the person who came there make her cross the road from that place he guided the trembling feet along and brought that his own were from a storm the boy is guiding the lady and he is very happy that it means he has a proud he has proud that he is young but even they he did not care about his young age and he helped that old lady then back again to his friends he went his young heart happy and well content after helping the needy lady the boy went to his friends and he was very content he was very happy that he had helped someone in a pitiable condition he got satisfaction you know what happens if you help someone and by the help of you somebody gets something that time you become very happy i get a chance to do something for others such a condition should be in every person see somebody mother and boy you know and for all siege aid and poor and slow and he talked with his friend that she was somebody mother i don't know about her but she was in the need of help i went there and i helped her and i hope some fellow will lend a hand to help my mother you understand and he narrated the story to his friends that a time will come when i will not be at home i will be far away from my home that time my mother will be helped by someone it means he thought that the poor's determination if you help someone right now obviously somebody will help you in future so without any hesitation we should help others because you are it means uh, you are framing your way if right now you are helping someone obviously a time will come when somebody will help you or help your family and i hope some fellow will lend a hand to help my mother you understand if he was sick poor and old and gray when her own dear boy is far away and somebody mother would low her head in her home at night and the prayers she say and after that he also mentioned that right now i had helped the lady who was in need 
and who was very careless it means he was no one was about to care and i have that she will go at her room and obviously she will pray for me in that way i will get mercy from the god god will help me one day the poet is talking with his friends was god be kind to the noble boy and who is somebody's son or bride and in and joy in that way the god will pray that boy who helped the lady who has helped the lady who was in pitiable condition and the poet is very happy to help the lady in such a plight such a condition and in that way the poem gives a very meaningful message that without any selfishness we should help others and it may be that in future you would be helped by someone it means in the same way just he helped the uh, it means uh, somebody mother obviously he has mentioned here that a time will come when my mother will be helped by someone so we should not forget the responsibility we should not forget the humanity this is humanity that whenever you are helping someone a time will come not only the person even the god will show mercy to you and you will be helped by others and this was the theme of the poem that we should always keep a helping hand to others and it will it will help in our generation it will help in our future so we the human being obviously we should show the humanity toward the people this was the message of the poem and uh, just it means again i would like to tell you that the poem from the first chapter of the standard eight somebody mother written by dog wedding and it means in 1816 1933 poet author lyricist published many poems and children's books she has published many poems and children books and right now the recent poem what we have read about somebody mother and it gives the thing that it means a very nice poet eight and obviously he likes about the children and children enjoy and they get inspiration from such a poetry so we are very thankful to the poet to give such a message i think everybody has got in a proper way what was the theme of the poem and uh, you will have to learn the hard words also and try to do the question answer very it means you can understand easily and the question answer obviously if you don't understand you can give me comment and you can out the question from your chapter and obviously i will help you to make you solve it okay thank you